outages in Perenjuri typically last between two and four hours. This time frame and the population of the town means it's closely suited to a battery size of about one megawatt hour. One megawatt hour is enough energy to charge up to 60,000 mobile phones or about the same amount of energy than 50 residential solar systems would generate in a day. In the case of per injury, this should translate to around two to four hours backup power depending on things like how many air conditioners or other appliances are drawing down on the battery. The battery energy storage system essentially consists of two main parts, the inverter and the battery. The inverter which changes the power between AC network power and DC battery power is the brains of the system. Along with other major equipment like the network transformer and switchgear, the inverter is housed in a specially manufactured transportable building. The battery which acts as the energy tanks for the system is assembled inside a 20-foot recycled sea container weighing in at about 12 tonnes. The lithium-ion batteries contains 1,280 cells arranged in five racks. Each cell has a nominal voltage of 3.2 volts and are sequenced together to give a total voltage of about 819 volts with 1,300 amps. What is really extraordinary about the system is how it's engineered to operate safely within our network in this remote location. Being located approximately 70 kilometers away from the nearest substation, the system will aim to respond to an interruption in 100 milliseconds. That is three times faster than the blink of an eye. Furthermore, when the grid power returns, the system will seamlessly transfer the town back to normal supply. It's a great initiative and I'm very confident that this new technology will make a real difference to the people of Perinjury and possibly become a blueprint for other towns with similar reliability issues.